gon' step up for me Make sure my fans stay cause my daughter gotta eat I know I ain't perfect Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel That channel is Deb Chanel's 40s World Welcome back, welcome back, welcome to my channel All my new subscription or subscribers all my old faithful ones and my current ones, okay? Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's always a family affair over here at Dale Chanel's 48th World YouTube channel, okay? But I want to thank you for all your loving and support that you've given me throughout the years of my journey on YouTube. And uh, very grateful to each and every one of you all. Y'all been rocking with me. Y'all been increasing my channel. And for that, I must say thank you you so very much and hopefully you're having a relaxing sunday okay but don't forget to continue to like my videos share my videos and if you haven't subscribed to my channel at this time please do so what you waiting on okay what are you waiting on okay go on hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell and you'll know when i drop new and interesting videos that i know you're gonna like so come on let's get on into this video it's a must-see video we're gonna be talking about our polling results that's right our polling results that were from uh november the 10th through the 16th okay i think it was about 14 of them that i went into i asked you to speak your mind and you spoke very graciously <laughs> and intently about some of the posts that I had put out there for you all to partake of. Yes, yes, yes. Y'all went over there and voted, voted, and voted, and expressed your opinion and your minds. But again, these are the posts for the Real Housewives of Atlanta uh, and a set of videos I may have put out uh, on my polling community feed over there on my channel. But let's go on into the first question that was asked of you all for some reason i don't know if you all missed it but y'all just didn't like it but y'all nobody responded to that particular question out of all 14 that i put so i'm thinking it's just with the oversight but the question reads do you think portia williams was right for going on her social media platform or page calling out evil marcel regarding their friendship okay nobody voted on that one i thought that was a fair question to ask but no one said anything personally if i may weigh in on it which you know i do from time to time but since nobody weighed in their opinions on this question i'll go on and weigh in on it personally i feel that portia had a right as well as eva had a right to go on their social media platforms and just rebut or have a rebuttal between the two of them was portia right for starting the conversation or the throwing of the shade yes she was uh feeling some type of way and she wanted to express herself since it was given out on a public uh platform of course she should be able to go without any uh repercussions to express her opinion on her public platform so i would say yes so um to just tidy up that little poll it was 100 percent. it's kind of biased because it's me giving you the results of something that no one voted on but i voted on so one vote for yes and no votes for the no that uh, Portia did have a uh, understandably uh, reason to go and promote herself on what she felt. So moving on to the next polling question, it said, "Do you think Cynthia Bailey will start wearing the real or uh, start wearing her real natural hair and start wearing wigs, extensions, weaves uh, for my kill?" Uh, which is her fiance since he told her he likes her natural hair better. 75% of you all said yes, she will obey, submit to his desires. 25% of you all said no, she will cater to her own needs. She will wear what she wants to wear and what pleases her. Okay, but 75% sounded off and said yes, she will obey um, Mike's desires. For her looks okay the next polling question was do you think nene leaks will involve herself in kenya moore's divorce drama okay it was tied and i thought that was like weird because most people are either gunning for or loving on kenya or gunning for a loving on nene and usually there is a difference where one of them are in head of the other but it was just a split tie it said 50 percent said yes while 50 percent said no Okay, so we go on to the next polling question. It asks, uh, do you think Cynthia Bailey is mean, cruel, and a shit starter? 
behind the scenes and that Bravo franchise hides that she's uh that type of well they hide that type of side from us and you know they only give us the innocent side of Cynthia. So is Nene right or is she alluding correctly that Bravo is doing this? The producers are hiding Cynthia's uh bad side to us. Well an overwhelming group of you all said 83% said yes I do believe Nene uh, and 17% of you all said, I don't believe Nene. She's just jealous. The next polling question was, uh, do you think Cynthia Bailey is the new bone carrier for uh, season 12? The one who is starting all of the chaos and negative issues with the rest of the cast members? It was split three ways. 33% on each one of the subjects. Uh, you said 33% said yes. Cynthia is the main girl of the season, while another 33% said no, it's Kenya Moore, and another group said no, it's Eva Marcel. Okay, next polling question was, do you think Kenya Moore lied to social media with regard to when her daughter was born? You know, she was on that show, uh, and she was having trouble on Watch What Happens Live, when Andy addressed the question of when was the birth of her daughter, or uh, when she was conceived. And people thought that Kenya had lied on that particular uh, episode of the show. 75% said, no, Kenya didn't lie. She just was confused with the question. While 25% said, yes, Kenya was lying and she got caught up in her lies. Okay. The next polling question was, do you think that Kenya Moore is a liar and would do and say anything to be seen as the true queen of the Real Housewives of Atlanta show? Well, overwhelming overwhelmingly amount 68% pr uh, projected said yes she's a liar and would do anything and say anything to be the queen of the show while 32% of you all said no she's not a liar and wouldn't do or say anything just to be the queen of the show okay our next polling question was do you think Nene Leakes is a liar <laughs> on camera or off of camera a overwhelming response said 67% said yes, she is a liar and would do anything and out everything on camera. Yes, she would just lie about it on camera or off camera. Why 33% of you all said no, she isn't a liar and she's not a liar on camera nor off camera. The next polling question was, do you think Eva Marcel is a liar and she should be replaced on the show? 49% said, yes, Eva Marcel needs to go, and she lies, okay? While 51% of you all took up for her, said, no, she brings the good things to the show, and she doesn't lie. Hmm, I'm looking at y'all funny, but y'all voted, so I ain't saying nothing. Uh, polling question number 10, do you think Cynthia Bailey is a liar and can't be trusted on camera or off of camera? Uh, overwhelming. Group of people spoke out on this. 74% said yes, she is a liar on camera and off camera. And it's Cynthia Bailey we talking about, okay? We ain't talking about Kenya or Nene. We talking about Cynthia Bailey. So y'all really spoke very highly, strong, opinionated opinions on Cynthia being a downright liar, okay? While 26% of you all took up for her and said, no, she's not a liar on camera nor off of camera, all right? Next polling question. Uh, was asked, <coughs> excuse me, what do you think is the real reason Kenya Moore wanted to be back on the Real Housewives of Atlanta? Okay. And there were three, four, five, there were five different answers you could have given. But 56% of you all said she needed the money and the income. <laughs> And I'm right there with you because, you know, Kenya does a lot of different things here and there, but you don't always hear about them. But you do see her promoting uh, Real Housewives of Atlanta heavily, even when she wasn't, you know, on the show. She still was trying to be around people or cast members of the show and just know she was out there trying to be seen. But she didn't want to be on camera if she wasn't going to get paid. But she was still staying relevant. And that's where pretty much everybody knew Kenya from other than being a pageant queen. Okay, 19% of y'all said she missed the attention that the show brought to her and her brand, which is her. She's her own corporation, as she said many times before. 13% said she needed the exposure for herself and her brand. 10% said she 
missed the perks and social status that the show gave her, and 1% said she was bored. Okay, next polling question is, do you think Eva Marcel needs to be fired from the Real Housewives of Atlanta for franchise for her negative remarks she made regarding black women textures of hair 50 percent of y'all saying no she was just using her freedom of speech speaking out and being pro-black by doing it okay while 28 percent said yes that helper need to go <laughs> while 22 percent said maybe she just needs some culture training counseling okay and the uh, number 13 polling question was, do you think Eva Marcel was wrong for calling Portia Williams and Kenya Moore nappy-headed? Okay, nappy-headed. Uh, people and women in general. Overwhelmingly response was 77% spoke out and said, yes, she was wrong, 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 wrong. Okay, well, 23% of you all said no, not at all. She wasn't wrong for speaking her mind and calling them nappy heads. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Okay, and the last and final polling question was, do you think Eva Marcel is happy and content in uh, her skin color that she was born in and the black race she uh, was boxed in if in regard to how society places us and put labels on us and how uh, society sees people of color? 74% of you all said, yes, she's happy with her skin tone and race, while 26% of you all said, no, she's unhappy with herself and her skin tone. Okay, but that's all I had for the polling results for November um, 10th through November 16th. We'll be putting some fresh new polls out there for you all to gravitate to and to um, take the polls and, and speak your mind if you needed to have additional say on the polling question. You know, I read them. I comment them. I come back. I come comment back to you all uh, if I see them and I'm not too busy because I always try to respond to you all when y'all posting under my videos to let you know I'm still there. I'm still monitoring. I'm still seeing things. And a lot of people have definitely come out, show out and spoke their minds. Huh? And I want to do a shout out for Val Williams. And I think his name is Wes Griffin. And, uh, shoot. I have a lot of them that come out, but these are the ones that actually are very long winded and they be in detail when they come in, um, either taking my pose uh, that are brought out each week or they're in, under my videos making comments about the subject matter. And I love them. I tell you, I love them. When they go in detail, they be sparking my uh, my mind on what's what. <laughs> making me throw and think another way like, well, damn, I guess you could say so. Or it's like that. But another uh, person for a shot, I did say Wes Griffin, uh, Jerry Hendrickson, Miss Hollywood over there uh, doing their thing. And I had a newcomer, Tommy Caldwell. He was out there expressing his opinions on some different subject matters. And, you know, it was just real cute how you all get in. And y'all definitely tell me what team y'all on, which, who y'all rooting for. Um, uh, I think her name is Kanitha Green. She's very outspoken. Antoinette Brisket. Brisket. hope I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, she speaks her mind fluently as well. Got Yvonne Millwood. All right. Um, and a, a lot more. Uh, Chala Thomas. She's always over there giving me tea. <laughs> Set me up for other things she think I missed or should have said. But, you know, they all get down and they have a wonderful time. Lady G. Um, they all get down in there and, and make their opinions known. I read them. Um, everybody else pretty much reads them as well when you're going in there in the comment section. Um, let me see. I think that's it. Mabel Jackson, Grace, Catmo59. Yes, honey, they be up in now. I did say Val Williams. I think I did. Charlotte Thompson. I think I did. But these are just a few of my favorites. BB, um, they definitely be down in there. Rita Suber, <laughs> Woo, Constance Lawrence, Tracy Carpenter, Helen Willis, Latanya Gordon, 
Yes, Lord. Marcel White, Marisol White, Leah Thomas, Michelle B, Linda Jackson, Nikita Young, Vivian Edmund Wani. Um, hopefully I didn't pronounce that wrong, but I'm sorry if I did. Uh, Brandy Mangata, Picola, Child, Miss Dark and Lovely. Miss Dark and Lovely, something else. I know she give it to me whether I like it or not. She just be giving it to me, okay? And I, I'm, I'm, I'm proud to have her in the chat. Kamara G. Ooh, child, I could go on and on and on. It would take me a, a load of time, but these are the ones that are always down in them comments. Speaking their mind, Deborah Sanders, Barbara Kelsey, Perlene Watson, Diva D, Gigi Denez, S. Hutchinson, Pat Mitchell, Peggy Hunter, A.O. Yes, Lord, honey. Uh, S.U. for Life, Doreen Rhodes, um, Barbara Kelsey, Kelsey, if I said that, Marcy Lucy. Mary Lucy, I'm sorry, Dion Jones, and a host of others. I can keep going on and on, keeping it 100. Uh, but y'all, like I said, Pam P, get down in them comments. Y'all definitely tell me what y'all thought about anything, okay, and how somebody running up here in these streets on our Real Housewives of Atlanta and Married to Medicine, and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, y'all be blessed, and I'll see y'all next video. Bye-bye. Perfect, but don't you tell it how it be? Dang.